Hey everybody, it's Evan again for Method at GetMethod.com where we show architectural designers how to use digital tools in your toolbox. And once again, we are talking about a couple of my favorite programs, FormZ and Maxwell Render. And today we're going to be showing you how to create um, a more realistic sky background environment inside Maxwell Render and also see the reflections of that in the glass. And we're actually going to be doing a hybrid lighting setup where we use a physical sky for our main lighting, but we're going to be using an HDRI or in Maxwell Talk an IES light, um, which we're not going to use for lighting, but we are going to use it for the background and reflections in the gra in the glass. All right, so let's jump here into Form Z and take a look at the model. And so here we've got a kind of traditional uh, building that is a model that we're going to be um, using for today's discussion, and we've got a curtain wall set up. Here and I'm going to be looking at that specifically just because that's the most reflective material in the scene. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is set up your glass material. All right. And so what we're going to do is if I if I go in to this group and I look at the material that is set up in my attributes, you can see that my material is called glass. All right. And so if I look for my glass material, let's look here in list mode. If I double click on glass and go into this, what I'm doing is the first thing when I set these up, I like to go into the render zone materials and I like to go down to the material libraries and choose glass. Okay. And I like to use render zones glass one for my exterior glass. Okay. So I'm going to double click that and it's going to set that up there. All right. So that's my base for my material. Then I go to Maxwell. And I want to make sure that my material hint is set up to architectural glass normal. Okay, you can go up to these other two levels. They take a little bit longer to get rid of the noise in Maxwell. So this is a good place to start. If you're just doing exterior renderings, this is a great glass to use. All right. So first thing you want to do is set that up. Okay. What you don't want to do. Um, let's go back here to our render zone material real quick. Um, in your Actually, if we even go back to shaded mode, something that I've seen happen with people is the roughness is set too high. You might want to set that down really low, and your specular factor can be up very high. All right, so that means it's going to be very reflective if you're only using bonsai. Um, once you get into render zone, you know, once again, you can start to choose from these materials. And then uh, if you go up to Maxwell, that's where you want to make sure you're saying architectural glass normal. All right. So get your glass settings up first, and that will give you the nice reflectivity that you want. All right, so let's go back down and get out of the group, and let's turn on Maxwell Fire. And you'll notice here real quick before I go into actually hit render, I do have a physical sky in the scene. I actually have a couple for, you know, depending on which side of the building I'm on that I want to look in. So if you want to go to shaded mode with shadows you want to make sure your shadows are also you know your light is in the right position that you want to get the shadows that you want all right so now if we jump into maxwell fire and turn this on you're going to see we're going to get kind of the typical daylight maxwell physical sky background and we get you know not a lot of reflectivity going on here but you know it all depends on the angle of the light it depends on the angle of the camera and so if we for instance um and I like to work in shaded work mode because it just this model is kind of complicated. There's a lot of stuff. So if you change your angle of the scene, you might see more or less reflection. So these are all things to take into account, you know, when you're actually setting up your view. All right. So now let's look at how to set up the background. So I'm going to make a new light type. So I'm going to hit the plus on my light palette. I'm going to double click on that to bring up the parameters. And actually, real quick, let me turn off Maxwell Fire just so I'm not calculating in the background and slowing things down. All right, so the type here I'm going to do is choose an IBL light. I might have said IES earlier, so if I did, sorry. It's an IBL, which stands for Image-Based Lighting. And I'm going to open up by clicking the folder icon. And let's see, Applications, Maxwell Render... And if I go into my HDRI file folder, there's a few that are included. So I'm going to go with this one here. And um, these are all fun to play with. And you can download more from the Maxwell Render website. And you can see these ones are actually from Doge Design. If you go to their website, there's, there's some you can buy. You can buy disks and downloads full of these things. 
And so once you do that, we'll just click OK here real quick. And let's turn fire back on. And you'll see that it's now using that sky as the lighting. Okay, so you, you all know that if you have competing lighting environments in Maxwell, it chooses one to use. It's not going to actually use both. So if I turn off physical sky here, you can see it's not changing at all, even though it was on. Um, it's using the newest one that I use. So if I go back into that light parameters here, and you can see the intensity is only set to 1. So let's go up to 30 real quick and just see what happens with our HDR as our lighting. And you can see now that it's casting more light as the background because that's the setting that I changed, right? I just changed kind of the intensity of that as our background light. So if I set that back down to 1, that wouldn't it would just make the background fade out. If I change the intensity now, the illumination now it's actually going to light my scene. Now it's using that image to light our scene. And so now you really need to go in and, and change the parameters for that thing to get the kind of shadows you want. Well, what I want is I want the best of both worlds. I want to be able to manipulate the source of the light graphically, but I want the HDR to be the background and in the reflections. So here's how you do that. Let's go ahead and turn off fire here for a second. Let's turn physical sky back on. Let's double click the IBL light or the HDRI light and I'm going to turn off its illumination. Okay? And I also don't need the refraction, all right? So background and reflection are the two channels that I want and again you want to set the intensities kind of accordingly. So you're going to need to play with these numbers to get them where you want, but let's say 25 for the background and the reflection, let's go ahead and set that to 50. All right? Hit okay and let's turn fire back on. And now we're going to get the shadows from the physical sky, and we're going to get the background and the reflection from the IBL light. All right, so if I change my angle here, a little bit, and you can see my glass is nice and clear and see-through, but I'm getting a reflection here. And as the SLs go up, you know, right now we're at SL5 or 6, as that gets clearer and clearer and you let Maxwell chunk away on that, it's going to give you really nice reflections that are based on that sky where your main light and shadow is based on your physical sky. All right? So that's how you set up a combination setup where you've got your HDR as the background and your reflections and you're using a physical sky, which is nice because you can actually see that in the modeling environment. You can move that light to wherever you want. You can also use its location-based settings to set that in the light itself. So if you're in Los Angeles or you're in New York, you can just choose a location and a time of day if you'd, if you'd like to use that. That's why I like to use a physical sky, because it's very predictable. And then I like to use the HDRs as the background and the reflections. All right? So that's it for this MethodCast Quickie. I will see you at the next one. Bye.